Hello everybody and welcome to another Pixel for Life video tutorial. My name is Steven and today I'm going to be teaching you something new that I just learned yesterday. It is the ability to mask out your layer styles. Um, I was going to do a quick tip on this but I thought it might be a little too short so I decided to do something something cooler and since YouTube was doing something for Sesame Street I decided to create the Sesame Street logo. Really simple but it gives me the ability to teach you this trick. So what I want to do is start off with a green color and I'm just going to grab this. Um, you can copy this hex code if you want, it doesn't really matter. It's 06A966. Oops. Let me grab that again. Okay, then I'm going to grab the rounded rectangle tool with a radius of 15 pixels. You can mess with this. I just found this to be a pretty good size. And then I'm going to stretch this out. We can edit it later if we if we feel we have to, but I'm going to leave it at that for now. Looking good. All right, so let's double click on this and give it some layer styles. I'm going to start off with a stroke and I'm going to give it a yellow fill. Something like that. With um, eight pixels for a width on the outside. And then we're going to give it a drop shadow. So rather than a drop shadow, I'm going to use this as a as another stroke outside of the stroke. And I'm going to do that by changing changing the distance to zero, the spread to 100, and change this to nine. And why I pick nine is because the stroke, the first stroke, is eight pixels. So the drop shadow has to start from beginning of the screen and go out. And changing the spread to 100 gives it a uh, very hard feel, meaning uh, you're going to get a solid stroke on the end there. Alright, so when you have that, I'm going to click on Inner Shadow, change the distance to zero. I'm going to give it a, a dark green, so if I click on this, I'm just going to click a little bit darker and make the size, I don't know, a little bit larger, bring out the choke, just so it gives it some depth. We'll, we'll, we'll leave it with that and then you can mess with it if you feel you have to. And then, let's see, was there anything else? A uh, inner glow I wanted to do. Inner glow, I'm gonna make this normal, I'm gonna set this to black, change the choke to 100, and bring the size down to one. And that's just going, you can't see it because I have a, uh, let's see, do this. Click on this layer and click Control H, and it will hide the, uh, the marking for the vector. That way we can see that stroke on the inside. So let's double click this again. Go to inner glow and lower that opacity. So it's more of a dark green than a than a uh, black. And I don't like that color green, that color yellow. So I'm going to make it just like that. All right, so when you have that, that's going to be the base of this this logo sign. It's more of a street sign than a logo. Here's the final product. Very simple but that's what we're going after. So we want to make another shape and it's going to be just a circle. So grab your ellipse tool, hold down shift and drag out a circle. Something about that. Hold down alt and click on the effects and just duplicate it to the top there. And then we're going to drag this below that shape layer and select both of these and center it. Oops, let's bring it down. Okay, so now this is the fun part. What I want to do is hide the stroke and the drop shadow so this looks more like one piece rather than a piece behind it. And normally, if I were to add a layer mask to this layer and then go to mask it out, um, it's not even doing anything. Let's see. All right, so here's some a bigger example. If I were to mask this out now, as you can see, it continues along that layer style, and I don't want that. But if I double click on here, and I check this right here, layer mask hides effect. Click that, click OK, go to layer mask, and you can see that it actually masks out the effect. This is really nice, and I didn't know that was possible. So what I'm going to do come over to here 
zoom in and just mask that out and it looks like this side's masked out already so I'm going to leave it at that and that right there is the trick that right there is worth about forty five dollars I'll let you pay me uh, via PayPal thank you so let's finish off this sign let's just grab a white text tool uh, text with white font click and drag here I'm going to make it the width of this sign the inside width and then I'm going to write sesame street and I'm using Arial bold don't know if that's the correct font but it really doesn't matter and then you want the restricted sign so I'm going to hold down alt and click R and then let's select all of this and scale it up something like this select this R and let's scale that way way down 14 pixels is good and then center it bring this down and we want to stretch the text vertically so I'm going to select the text tool click this box up here which toggles our character properties and we can stretch it 120% looks fine. And let's scale down this box here. So click on the box layer, select this, and let's just bring that up. Looks good. And then going to create a new layer. I'm going to zoom in and just type one, two, three. Drag that over into place. Let's scale it down just slightly to, let's go with 30. And then let's just give it a sweet background so we can uh, finish this off. I'm going to go with light blue, double click to unlock that background layer, double click it again, add a, let's uh, make our colors default by clicking D and then X to make the white the foreground, double click, gradient overlay, change it to radial click and select this one right here which will be white to nothing click OK change up to scale drag it to the side nice create a layer above it flip to black as your foreground grab your paintbrush and let's just paint around here just a I don't know what that's a vignette or whatever the funky term for it is we'll just leave it like that change the mode to darken and lower the opacity just like that and there you go that's my contribution to whatever YouTube is doing for Sesame Street uh, I hope this layer style will save you lots of time I know it will save me quite a bit and let's fix this R so I don't get yelled at let's click that and change this height back to 100 okay now I can finish this off Thanks for watching and see you next time.